Join our hosts as they step aboard the Black Tip 18 Flats, a flats boat designed to comfortably navigate shallow water and tackle rough water with ease. The Black Tip 18 Flats has an overall length of 18 feet, a beam of 7 feet 2 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 175. Built for handling choppy conditions and floating shallow, she has a draft of 8 inches, a dead rise of 12 degrees, a weight of 1,500 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 47 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. George, today we are on a new boat for us. It's from Black Tip Boat Works. They brought us their 18-foot flats boat. Now, flats boat. Normally, in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, 14, 16 feet. This is 18. So I'm actually really curious to see how this is going to pull through the flats today. Yeah, you know what? The guys at Black Tip told me that when they designed this boat and built this boat, they're building it for people that want a flats boat, polling type of skiff, but also something that's more stable and that'll fit a few more people, and it's going to be more comfortable to be on. That's a lot to ask out of a boat, but I think this boat's up to the challenge. What do you say we go do a little fishing? Newly formed Black Tip Boat Works debuts their first offering for 2021 with the all-new Black Tip 18 Flats model. This 18-footer was conceived out of the desire to provide the solid, comfortable ride of a larger bay-style boat and all of their positive attributes, while also featuring the shallow water capabilities of a traditional polling skiff. The balance between the two styles of boat has to be carefully considered in order to execute this combination effectively. When choosing design aspects for ride performance and shallow draft to work together, the bottom design and dead rise have to be balanced properly. The Black Tip 18 sports a 12 degree dead rise bottom which provides enough angle to lay a confused bay chop or large boat weight down comfortably. The dead rise transition from the entry to the transom still flattens out enough for this boat to be pulled with ease in single digit depths. The Black Tip 18 in trying to split the difference between stability and comfort while still offering the flat skiff experience does a remarkable job of pulling the mixture off. On the pole, we were able to get quietly into real bonefish depths and rather effortlessly for a 1,500 pound boat. Where the boat really shined, in my opinion, was running in some very choppy waters with a crazy confusing boatway crossing at every angle. In this regard, the boat really performed like a much larger boat. For this boat and on this day, I was pleasantly surprised to discover that this model hit the oncoming traffic softly and felt as solidly constructed as you could ever hope for. The ride alone on the Black Tip 18 flats was enough to impress me, but she hit the marks across the board for fishability as well. For fishability features in line with the traditional polling skiff, this model comes with a polling tower, a roomy forward and aft casting deck, perfect for sight fishing, and extra wide gunnels for easy walking. Additional dry storage is available aft beneath a pair of outboard corner located long compartments that lift rearward to allow easy access while the boat's on the trailer. At the center deck aft is a 30-gallon live well as well as a separate compartment to access your build. At the helm, you'll find a console face large enough to accommodate an oversized 16-inch Simrad unit that is still remarkably easy to see across while running. There was a large center storage compartment that was so large that we actually had two buckets in there in all of our bags. Most boats have rod storage, but it's usually for your conventional rods and reels. So it was really cool to see the rod storage today in the Black Tip. It was actually built for fly rods. This was really cool. The transom deck offered plenty of room for fishing, a live well, and if you want tackle storage, you got it. The four console seat is a frigid, rigid cooler that actually comes standard with the boat. These are fantastic coolers, and I think it was such a great incentive to add to the boat for the buyer. For sight fishing while being pulled across gin clear waters or running the inlets and passes to cruising the beach looking for migratory tarpon or cobia, this model definitely has the right combination of elements to accomplish all of the above. Okay, George, this morning I said what I was most curious about is pulling this skiff across flat water. It's 18 feet but it has that bigger feel to it. And I was really impressed with everything she did on the water today. And it just reminded me that you've got a skiff, flat, and a hint of a little bay boat in there because she's so sturdy. Yeah, the boat is absolutely as advertised, Lori. And I was impressed with how shallow we got the boat. When we were in true bonefish depth. I'm gonna say for Black Tip Boat Works to try and build a boat that does so many things, and this is their first entry into the market, 
they definitely hit the mark with this 18 flats.